we're really only in the second month of the fiscal yes. so i yes. don't mean to make uh, yeah. assumptions at this point in, in a very uh, sort of broad fashion but uh, I, I think the question i was trying to get to is where do you see commercial lending rates uh, you mm -hmm. know plateau out and and then the second part of that question is we were just seeing a pickup in the capex cycle do you see this stalling that i don't think so see okay. when it comes to the recovery of economy it is a function of the demand and i would say that there is sufficient demand which exists in the economy and uh, i would rather go to the extent of saying that uh, capacity utilization also leaves enough headroom because uh, today though the capacity utilization has improved and it is actually better than the pre pandemic level of 69% today we are at somewhere around 72% but ideally speaking there is enough uh, headroom available even in terms of capacity so i don't think so that there is going to be a constraint in capacity which will perhaps go a step further in terms of addressing the inflationary concerns which are otherwise seen okay so are you saying that there is not that much demand for capex right now because there is underutilized capacity no but and i would therefore say that, higher lending rates will not have a big impact uh, or are you saying that you are seeing pick up in capex but you know I'm no i think i would say the way i would like to really relate it is that sure. uh, the how much of the interest rate will go up for lending will also depend upon the kind of liquidity which is there with the system so that is something which has to be kept in mind though when it comes to the books of various banks when it comes to you know it's linked to the variable interest rates it is as high as about 74 percent but how much of that will be passed on by the bank will also be a function of the kind of excess liquidity which they are settled with so i think uh, they might calibrate the risk premium but nevertheless uh, as i mentioned that there are you know the various components which have to be which have to be kept in mind while they are deciding the interest rates and all those function all those various components are evaluated by the uh, alco committees of various banks so from time to time okay mr kaya let me put it simply by how much do you anticipate given all of these conditions that you've mentioned in the next six months to one year barring any other negative surprises across the world or in india by how much do you expect commercial lending rates to increase commercial lending rates might go up by another 40 to 75 basis point but uh, again as i mentioned about the availability of the excess liquidity in the I system but nevertheless i must also mention when it comes to corporates they have leveraged quite a lot in the last couple of years Absolutely. so it may not have any impact on the corporate balance sheet large corporate balance sheet as far as smes are concerned we have seen that the overall cost or interest cost is somewhere around 8 to about 12% depending upon how much leverage they have so i think if at all you will look at it in the context of about say about 9% to about 40 basis point increase it will be marginal increase it will not be as big an increase as it is normally seen so i think that is something which has to be kept in mind so that's how the the situation appears to be and when it comes to retail mm. retail we have uh, generally seen that you know the salary increase is also coming back to the pre pandemic level which is about 9 to 10 percent so invariably we have seen that uh, you know uh, for the retail borrowers it is always the emi to nmi ratio and uh, the emi may not go up as much as the net monthly income will go up and in any case in the inflationary conditions it always makes a sense to buy assets which are increasing in value improving in terms of value and uh, at a interest cost uh, at a emi which remains more or less at the same level so i think to that extent borrowers will be benefited so long as the the borrowers will be coming in for durable sets like you know home loans etc mm -hmm. home mortgages i'm sure they will be benefited during this condition also